Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can generate some of the custom labels for your charts whether bar chart or pie chart. So as you can see once you hover your mouse over to any of the bar you get the default uh, message about here in this case you are getting crime type which is equals to others and you are getting the crime which is 4 to 8. eight. But as you can see this information is not really useful and uh, sometime back I got this requirement that we want we want to show some custom message with other status. So I started looking at the expressions uh, and see whether we have any property where we can get this custom label either in presentation or in expression. So for that I just ran into the properties and saw about it. So if you evaluate the expression tag you have a couple of options like a value on data points so that's what we are adding text on access so if i click that you get text on access like this and once i click on text as pop-up click apply and okay nothing happens but if i take my mouse over to this uh, bar and uh, see it shows me the additional information of 4288 so once i did that uh, it clicked me about uh, this property what it is and I just read about it in the click view reference so within the click view reference book like the so this is the click view reference manual for version 11 and here is the property which is I was just talking like text as pop-up and it says that mark this checkbox to have the result of an expression shown in the pop-up balloon messages appearing when hovering a data point in a chart in the layout so that's what it was doing it was showing that information well, this option can be used with or without any of the display option. So what happens uh, when you say display option? So right click, go into the properties. So it's basically this is the display option. And what it basically indicates that you can show it with or without bar also. And other display, the, it is thus possible to have an expression that does not appear in the chart itself, but only in hover box. So that's the key that it can you cannot have this like a chart or like a bar additional bar which is part of the second expression but you can have an expression which can give you the custom label or custom message as a pop-up so with that information what i did is i just created uh, another label or another expression maybe i want to create let's say for example total crimes so total of data that's a simple expression I'm writing. So currently if I see uh, and click apply, you will get the two bars as expected. One for crime, another for total. But if I remove this option, which is bar, click apply, the bars are removed. And then what I can do is I can click it as text as pop-up. So if I click apply and before that I just remove information from here text as pop-up or text as access because i don't want to show this information click ok so once i click over here currently what it is doing again it is showing the default label which is crime type and crimes information along with the uh, custom label of 11386 is the number that it is displaying right now so for that what you can do is to remove the uh, default labels we can actually go into the presentation and within the presentation we have this option of pop-up labels and click ok so once you click ok what you are getting is the 11386 well but that's not very meaningful for your end user it has to have some context about what this number is what it is indicating stuff like that so for that what interactivity you can add is basically um, one one so this is the second expression that we are showing as a custom label using text as pop-up and what we are doing putting an ampersand to concatenate and saying 11386 which was the number coming in the front end for this expression and saying is the total crime recorded so now it, it this particular sentence has given a context to this expression and click ok and now we have 11386 is the total crime recorded and in this way you can very easily show your custom label or a custom information for your end user 
and make your chart more meaningful. Sometimes you want to show more, more information like you have maybe a couple of lines where multiple expressions because of some complex requirement you want to show on a bar chart. So for that, you can keep on adding the information like, uh, so for example, I want to add, uh, let's say a line. So for that, you can actually use CHR pen. I think that is the one uh, which is used to break a line or like a break tag that you have in our HTML. Put an ampersand and say, uh, this is the message in second line. And maybe after that, you want to have, let's say, third expression. So maybe AV average of uh, data, which is the column where we have the data and click OK. So once you do that, in the first line, you are getting 11386 is the total crime recorded. After that, we gave a break by using CHR 10. So in the parenthesis, you had 10. And after that, you got this message that this is the message in second line and then the average crime recorded 115. So that's how you can add multiple expressions and multiple lines in your chart level and make your charts, feather bar or pie chart or any other chart more meaningful. I think it simply depends on uh, the display options settings. So maybe in some cases, in some charts, it may be possible that these settings are not given, but at least I have seen it in the uh, bar and pie chart if i'm not wrong so bar is definitely there but you can also go ahead and see uh, whether the properties are available in other bar chart other charts all right so that's all i wanted to discuss in this video and i will meet you in the new video with some new topic